Well, we always love to feature talented people living right here in the 701. And in this month's edition of Music with Michael, I sit down with Mark Earhart. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Music with Michael. I am here with the very talented Mark Earhart, and we are in Eckroff Music today. And Mark, I picked this location very special because you actually purchased your first guitar from Eckroff Music, is yes, that right? Yes, I did, yeah, about 50 years ago. Yeah. <laughs> about 45 years ago, I bought my first guitar from Eckroth Music. They were in a different location, but, uh, you know, it was the same place. And here in North Dakota, you have a family band, yes. is that right? Tell yes. us about your family band. Well, we actually started before any of us were 21 playing clubs and stuff, so our parents had to go with us wherever we went mm -hmm. and uh, make sure there was somebody 21 with us to get us into the clubs and yeah. stuff. And we started there, and then when I moved to Nashville, they kept going uh, for quite a while, and then uh, kind of everybody went their own ways and raised their own kids and everything, and then when I moved back here, we started playing back again, so we're, we're doing quite a few weekend things here. So you're stranded on a deserted island, and you can bring three albums with you. What are your three picks? Well, the first one would be Vern Gosden, Chiseled and Stolen. Okay. I think uh, you put that right up there with George Jones, He Stopped Loving Her Today. I mean, it's one of those kind of songs that just grabs you. And then probably one of the albums I actually watched record was uh, Emmy Lou Harris and the Nash Ramblers at the Ryman Auditorium. Mm -hmm. One of the most amazing concerts I ever saw in Nashville. I mean, just all acoustic instruments, and they went out and, I mean, did an amazing job. Mm -hmm. Probably the one that's in my CD player constantly <laughs> in my vehicle, that would be uh, it's a bluegrass band called Third Time Out, and they're live at the uh, Mountain, Mountaineer Center mm -hmm. in North Carolina. Just an amazing, an amazing project and, and done live and just to hear the musicianship on there and stuff is just unbelievable. B.B. King had a famous guitar he called Lucille, which is very synonymous with his sound. Mm -hmm. Do you have a Lucille? I, I've got a D42 Martin that basically is the guitar I've wanted all my life and finally got one and the sound has not disappointed me one day. Yeah, I think it's hiding right behind you, Yes, it? it is, yes, that's it right there. And I mean, it's, like I say, it's got the sound that I've always wanted in an acoustic and it seems like every day I play it, it gets the sound even better. All right, Mark, uh, last question is, what is your magnum opus? I got to work the first studio job I ever did in Nashville. I was playing for an artist by the name of Grady Nations. It was strictly an acoustic guitar job. I played nothing but acoustic on that one, and it was, it was an awakening because it was the first time I'd ever worked with the Nashville number system for playing stuff, so mm -hmm. I would have to say it was probably the best work I've ever done because I was paying attention. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to do it right because you're sitting in a room with, I mean, some of the most amazing musicians in the country and they're yeah. just sitting there reading off and going, let's, let's play. Now, you know, everything's done digitally. You come in, do your part. The next guy comes in the next day. No, we all sat in, in a semicircle in the middle of the recording studio and recorded 11 cuts. That's amazing. All in like about seven hours. We just sat there and laid out all 11 cuts yeah. in seven hours. Well, thank you so much for your time today. Ladies and gentlemen, Mark Earhart, thank, thank you so you, much, Michael. Mark. Thank you, Michael. Appreciate it. I got to hear Mark play that Martin afterwards, and I tell you what, it was sweet sounds. So thank you so much, Mark, for that wonderful interview. He seems like a very interesting man. He sure is. <laughs>